Do you want to get better at Yoru? Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the thought process on how to carry and rank while playing Duelist. I've got your trail. Oh, 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 this is a Saliki game where I go 28 and 17 on Yoru. Still got a combat way back up. But don't get mad at me at the ranks because the lowest rank we got in the whole game is a guy who's in World 3 peak. Uh... Do you want to do? Uh, you cannot fight. You don't have your ultimate fights. <clears throat> no, we don't need. We don't yeah. have to fight on A. Miss it here and just go for one TP out. There's a solution to every problem. We can't contest A as well as they can because they have a double initiator comp. But there's workarounds to this. I decided to do my best chamber cosplay and head to this corner and plan on taking a fight and then just teleporting out. If you struggle with playing Yoru, try think of him as a copycat agent. You can play him like Phoenix one round where you just flash peek and kill people, or you can play him like Reyna or Chamber and just plan on going on an off angle, getting one, and then teleporting out. Mind you, one more 55 club, mind you. I'm gonna start dogging. 50 club, 50 club. One more. Onside, onside, onside. Something out. My ult's not ready. No, you went back, mate. I'm opening door. Nice. So you may have not noticed since I was yapping away, but Jet dashes into her own smoke here. To get to me though, she has to wrap all the way around over here, so I use those couple of prescient seconds to hold the smoke and take out her teammates, since they probably think the coast is clear since the Jet just dashed towards this way. Holding smokes is always going to leave you in an advantage. Since Jet is clearing over here, that means that these guys are going to be going in blind, and the first angle that they're going to have to clear is over here, which leaves them open to the easiest shots of my life. The next round, I get absolutely destroyed. I try to do my best Reyna impression, but I get Insta Classic twice in the head and give him a Vandal. They ended up not getting a single kill with my Vandal, but me dying so early definitely messed us up. I'm sorry. I'm just pretending like that didn't happen, because even worse, we end up losing the second round because of it too. Now going into this round, since here we have three of my teammates fighting for the A lane, I decide to double up with my KJ since her turret has B covered for info. I like my odds retaking as groups here. I want to contest mound a little bit early, so I place my teleport here in case of the rushing C. Top, 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 herbal. Hold. Planning A. They plan it. Two to win the blue. One's tree. Tight, tight. Last player standing. One else ready. 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 Nice. In my opinion, I think movement is 80% of the reason why I won this 1v2. These two guys are both staring me down, but with my movement, I strafe just right out of reach of the Fade and isolated a fast 1v1 with the Breach. From there, Fade uses one of her dogs to give me two things to shoot at, so instead of fighting and trying to flick him, I simply just strafe out of the way into cover and make his utility play useless. Here, I doubt he has any more util, so we're in a good old-fashioned cowboy 1v1. I see him, so I take a couple shots, but since I don't kill him with the first couple bursts, I instantly re-strafe to give a harder shot to adjust to and then gg going to the next round i tried contesting a with my teammates here but there was a bit of a miscommunication error without anybody crossing over to pressure from rubble we're pretty much at the mercy of all their util the next round i try to relay the importance to my jet to dash across and he's okay with it it was a cool teammate he's not even smoking himself it's a easy play i'm just fighting <laughs> face your fear the second my sky dies, I teleport out to live to fight another day. And then here's where another miscommunication error happens. And this one kind of bothered me. I could flash it through that too if you want. Oh, they're charges. What's here now? They're leaving, I think. They're leaving. Deep lobby. One left. Tell them. He was. Uh, guess I think we don't fight her. I'm getting stunned. We had so much leeway. We had so much time. I just need you to let me know if you want to flash or if you want to play safe. Don't ask me if I want to flash me down. If you're going to do it, just say flashing. No, we had so much time right there. That's perfectly fine. I'm not you should answer him that. Just 
I'm not gonna egg you, just if you're gonna flash, just flash. Usually, whenever I coach initiators, this is really good advice. But here, I had enough time to bake a cake even. So I figured I'd ask because I can't read this person's mind. I don't know if they want to play for timing or just keep playing passive, so a simple green light would have made everything easier. It feels more like a way to deflect accountability, to be honest. Which everybody does from time to time. I know I'm at fault for it sometimes, but just being on the same page is super important. The next round, we're kind of broke and we don't really hear anything towards C, so I try to clear it out for some info. Okay, dude, we on me. After that pick, I pop my ult to try to snag the gun to help us win the round. But unfortunately, I end up losing a crucial fight. But my teammates end up coming up absolutely massive and clean up after me. For the next round, I head towards C to try to contest it. They have a KJ ultimate, so this is a pretty tried and true place for it. From B1. A tier 2. A from B. So I wasn't quick enough to teleport out, but I was quick enough to take out KJ. Fortunately, it wasn't enough and we end up losing. The next round run a save, so I do absolutely nothing. Since they have KJ ultimate again, with Can breach ultimate on top of it, my Jed and I are going to contest C. I walk yeah, with my back yeah. turn just to make sure I can turn around after being flashed. KJ is always on B. You want to open door and fight this guy? My turret only holds B. I'm a flash. I'm a flash. One there, one there, one C, one C, one deep C. I'm all too closed. I don't have my jet button. You can talk. One more, one more, one more link. Close. One enemy remains. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Spike down A. Wait, let me grab oil. After having one of the greatest battles I've ever had, I go back for seconds. He's right here. Flash him. Yeah. Honor. Get destroyed, you little ass kid. And whoever broke that turret, thank you so much because I completely brain farted and forgot it was there. For the next round, I send my teleport towards A, while I plan to lean over to try to help out Seaside. The best part of Yoru is the fast rotations. A couple A. The second that this guy calls that there's a couple A, I insta rotate over and try to double up and play off of them. Can you ult? Hop and ult. Oh. Opening door. Can you try a bait for me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Face your fear! Yeah, I'm opening a. again. Yeah, I'm ready for Actually, it. Just on top of me. Yeah, yeah, let's fight this one. One enemy remaining. Nice. Jack, can you come see? I'm gonna flash this corner. Can you two, can some, can two people walk up B and break the turret? And there's one person today. So here, my teammates and I want to do a simple default. Defaulting pretty much just means gaining or denying map control. And with map control comes information. So you're trying to deny that too. I buy a sheriff because I want to be able to spot and take some long duels over here towards A. If I see that they're fighting it really hard, I'll call for my teammates to go C instead. Hey, JC. Yeah, I think we're here. Yeah. Can you smoke smoke? Cutting through. One enemy remaining. Yeah, yeah. All is good and well until I choke the ace, reminding me that I'm fat and ugly and that she'll never love me. Going to the next round, I have a vandal again, and I plan on just teleporting towards rubble and just trying to take some fights. I don't think anything about it. Let's open door, clear from B, and then uh open house. I end up making enough pressure to draw rotate to send my teammates to the other side. This round, I want to teleport across towards rubble to make sure I can back up my jet and set him up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Flashing again, flashing again. Decoy. Jet from rubble, from rubble. Okay. Okay. Okay, one more, nice. Yes. We're kind of struggling because we don't have enough map control, so this time I want to teleport across to try to contest this jet who's always dashing up here. I can heal you. You can just chill. Let me heal you. Just save your all for KJ all. Oh, he's running at me. I feel bad critiquing the clover earlier because they ended up being a really nice person. I just wanted to point it out in a general sense. I'm gonna save my two flashes for yeah. fighting one of these if we go see. Yeah. I'm flashing again, watch out. You flash, I can see through that. You flash? I don't have flash right now. I don't have flash. Wait, five seconds. Your fear. Uh, one left. Oh. Bing, 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 bing. Spike down, C. We have your roll, KJ all. One flash. Both, both maybe? I'd be both, 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 I think. Down. 
They're gonna break my shit. It's not playing for CT. Fake teleport. Flash. One enemy remains. Flash me now. Yeah. Outside stock. Okay, 2v1, 2v1. We can still win. Let me just hold this one. Nice. Right. This is one of my favorite TVs because people hardly ever just sit here and just look down. After that, I make sure to try to scale up the right side because I saw that the Fade ultied from over here. I want to make sure I can hold the smoke to make sure she can't go out and help her teammates. After that, holding smoke still gives you the best advantage. They're against the clock so they're going to be forced to clear this out. I just play passive and hold the jet and get a free pick. After that, my close smokes off main and that gives me the confidence to hold that smoke to have the breach forced to run through and have to clear us. The next round I die almost instantly, but my teammates end up clutching up. One enemy remaining. Oh, nice shot, dude. They might give C for free for retake. Yeah. All we have to do is just right flash here. here, flash through the bottom of the year. I'm not looking here. They have full they have full Oh, Go fast. Sorry, right, blank. Okay. They have another KJL. They're gonna have three waterfall, they're gonna have three. They broke one the waterfall. Okay. Wait, fight the clone, fight the clone, fight the clone. We just said CT, we just said CT. Yeah. One's about to open door. Yeah, it's fine. Reloading. What? Here we end up winning off the back of my ultimate. Here I make the quick decision to fight the lone clove and spawn to essentially create a pinch and waterfall where most of the killjoy ultimates are placed. My teammates were on the same page and we completely shred these guys spawn, giving us the best positioning. This next round I buy an operator because I want to work a pick towards this A lane really slowly. Should we go back to C or? We could just take B. Yeah, mm. yeah I think it's like B. B split now, we B split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. B split. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. My turn. I'm gonna fight again. Reach stun from uh, A Heaven as well. Reach stun from A Heaven, I think. One enemy remains. This could be A Heaven. This could be A Heaven. On you? Okay. Yeah. 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 I can hit both of you. Nice. Awesome. you did. guys. And that's how you match MVP on Euro. Thank you so much for watching. And here's today's code for a chance of free coaching.